Welcome back to Painting with a Purpose. Today I'm going to show you guys how to paint an, um, a jellyfish. The colors you are going to need are all the colors in the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, two spots of white, and pink. Um, I like to have two spots of white so that my white stays clean. Let's get started. We are going to start with our medium flat brush. And we are going to paint everything about three-fourths of the way up. I mean one fourth of the way down here, ignore that, but all the three fourths up there, we're gonna paint with a light blue color. So to do that, I'm gonna grab white paint and I'm just gonna put a couple spots of white paint on my canvas and then I'm gonna stick some blue with it. So I got my white and my blue, I can kind of mix those together right there. And then I'm gonna paint all of this in, everything above this one quarter of a line and I'm gonna paint in horizontal brush strokes all the way across. If I run out of paint, I could just go back and grab some more blue and uh, white and just keep filling that in. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush, I'm just gonna wipe it off with my rag. I'm just gonna wipe that off. And I am going to create the bottom part. And the bottom is a little bit of a darker color. I'm gonna use both blue and purple at the same time. And stick those on there, blue and purple. Blue and purple. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of white, put it on there, and I'm going to make this area a little bit of a darker color. A little bit of a darker color. Go ahead and smooth that out. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is with my paintbrush still dirty, I'm gonna pull some of these colors up in wavy lines. And this is gonna kind of create what's gonna be my background. And I'm gonna make it very tall on both sides. And then as I get towards the center, I'm gonna just kind of bring it down a little bit lower. Perfect. I'm gonna wipe my brush off. And this time I'm gonna go in with just my purple color. No color other than purple on my brush. I've wiped my brush off. My brush is nice and dark purple. And I'm gonna make wavy lines with just dark purple on them. I'm gonna wash my brush off and now I'm gonna add some, uh, some air bubbles in my water. To do that, I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna dip my finger into white paint and I'm just gonna go right there and add some bubbles. Now you can put your bubbles anywhere you want. You can make some big, you can make some small. Maybe some are gonna go off the edge of your canvas. make some bubbles on your canvas. Now you want this to dry a little bit before you go and add in your um, jellyfish. So let it dry and then come back, push play, and we'll do our next step. Hopefully your art is drier than it was the last time I talked to you. Let's go ahead and lay out where our jellyfish is gonna go. So I'm gonna have you use your medium round brush and white paint. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a dome shape that goes at an angle. So I'm gonna make a line right here. It's okay if it goes on cross or something. And I'm gonna create a dome shape right here on my canvas. And I'm gonna paint everything inside of that dome shape white. Now you get to have a little bit of say so in what color you're jellyfish is going to be. I'm going to make my jellyfish an orange color because um, 
orange and blue are complementary colors. That means they're apart from each other on the color wheel. And I really like the way that they play together. So I'm gonna make my jellyfish an orange color. So to do that, here's how we're gonna do this. First of all, we are going to take this shape right here, and we're gonna add a couple of little bumps on it. Watch this. At this edge right here, I'm gonna make it bump out and in. So I'm just gonna give it like a little bump. And this edge right here, same thing. I'm gonna bump out, then in. Just giving it a little bump. I said I'm gonna paint my jellyfish in orange. So while my paint is still wet, while that white paint is still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and put my orange on here. And it's very important how you paint this because you wanna follow the curve. So I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna come down the edge, and then back up. And down, and back up, down, and back up. I'm always gonna end in the exact same spot. Now, I am getting a lot of white paint mixed in. So what I'm gonna do is wipe my paintbrush off, and I'm going to get some more clean paint on my brush. Then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna start on this edge, go down, and right back up to where I was. Down and back up. Down and back up. Once I have this done, I have to pick a color that's close to my original color. So since I used orange, I'm gonna choose red, and I'm gonna use red and orange together. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create tall, skinny, letter U's on the bottom of my um, jellyfish. I almost said canvas. Tall, skinny letter U's. Perfect. And then I can actually take those letter U's with that red paint and pull those up to the top of my jellyfish. Perfect. Now the fun part of the jellyfish are all of the little danglies, all the tentacles that they have. So first we're gonna start off by making some um, starter lines. And these starter lines are gonna be fun because we're gonna get to finger paint on them. So you need to pick a color. I'm gonna use yellow so I can see it. And I'm gonna make several of these super long wavy lines. I'm gonna make mine yellow. You can use any color you want. And these lines can be really long or they could be a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to use my finger and I'm gonna dip it in both white and yellow at the same time. And I'm gonna just press my finger along these lines to make some of my little Tentacles. That looks amazing. Let's go on to the next step. So now you know how to make these little tentacles and fingerprints. You can make as many of those as you want, but you know what else you could do? You can make just regular lines and they're allowed to cross over each other. Yeah. You know, jellyfish have a ton of these. You are not gonna go wrong by adding too many on. And again, they can cross over each other. Maybe they're going to cover up something you already have on there and that's okay. You can use every color under the rainbow what you want to be careful is, is that you don't keep mixing the same line so many times that you start to get the color brown. If you're noticing that your colors are mixing too much, it's an easy fix. Just push pause on the video. Go back and finish it later. You do not have to finish it all in one sitting.
love in this little jellyfish. Now I am gonna add some seaweed at the bottom of mine. And to do that, I'm gonna grab some green and some yellow at the same time. Watch how I can do this. I could pull this up in little skinny itty bitty lines. I can make them stem off of each other. I can make them go up really high. Little lines of seaweed. I've got one more thing I want to do on the top of my jellyfish. I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to lighten the top of it up just a little bit. So all I'm doing is starting from the top and I'm just kind of pulling those colors down. Just to kind of add some fun little detail to the top of that jelly. The last detail we're going to add is we're going to add polka dots to that jelly. I'm going to use the back of my paintbrush and I can add little white polka dots to the top of my jelly. And you know, yours don't have to be white. You don't even have to do polka dots if you don't want. But I'm just going to add little white polka dots to the top of my jelly. The last thing you have to do is you have to get a color that's going to stand out. You have to sign it. I always put my initials right down here in the bottom right corner. And remember, friends, have your adult post pictures of these on our Facebook page. I love to see what you guys can create. Until next time, enjoy your jellyfish. Bye.